How's it going guys? Lian here and welcome to another architecture video. So for today's video, we are going to learn how to draw trees the fastest way possible. So you guys might notice that my voice is a bit manlier than usual. You could thank the common cold for that one. I've been really sick this past couple of days, but I'm fine now. Get it? I said pine because today's video is about trees and pine is a type of tree. Never mind. Anyways, I'm feeling kinda okay now. Because you know, oak is also a type of tree. The worst. <laughs> Alright, enough with the puns. I'm kinda relieved that my sickness didn't get worse. So going back to the topic of drawing trees, this is one of the most essential drawing skills that you need to learn to survive architectural school because sometimes you come up with a very crappy 3D perspective so now you have to compensate by drawing very very awesome trees to hide the fact that you're 3D perspective kind of sucked. But before we start drawing, we need to talk about the things you would need. So for this video, I'm going to use water coloring paper, but you guys could use any type of thick paper, preferably 150 to 200 GSM. As for the pens, I will be using a 0.8 and a 0.1 micron pen. And then to color in the tree, we will be using four shades of green. That kind of sounds like a best-selling novel about the Hulk and his encounters with women. Anyway, I'm getting off topic again. For today's drawing, I will be using these alcohol markers made by Touch5. They are a great and cheaper alternative to Copic markers. The great thing about alcohol markers is you could easily gradient them and mix the colors together and it dries up super fast and the results look like you watercolored your plate. And the last thing you are going to need is a pencil, eraser, and a sharpener. Okay, let's get to drawing guys. So first step is we need to sketch the overall shape and size of the tree. It is advisable that you look up pictures of real trees online or, you know, just go outside and check out the trees there. Okay, now that you have the overall shape of the tree, time to ink it with our micron pen. For this tree, I will be using the 0.8 micron pen first. Make sure that the lines are extra squiggly to simulate the leaves. You don't want it to look like a smooth, you know, hot dog on a stick thing. After inking the tree, it is now time to color it. But before we color the real tree, we need to test out our markers on a scrap piece of paper to make sure that our colors are all cohesive and our tree doesn't end up looking like a mutant neon broccoli. Broccoli. How do you pronounce broccoli? Broccoli. Once you are happy with the color palette, we may now begin coloring in our tree. So what I usually do is I choose a light source for the tree to determine where the dark parts and the highlights will be. Okay, so I begin by using the darkest shade, moving on to the lightest shade in our color palette. Make sure that you shade as random as possible and always be mindful of your light source. And lastly, we have to shade our tree trunk and we're done! If you're happy with the colors of your tree, we can now move on to adding the finishing details with our 0.1 micron pen. And voila! We're done! So the same process goes when you're doing the top view of trees. Okay, so I usually begin by drawing a circle the best that I can. I know it looks oblong but let's just pretend it's a circle. After drawing the circle, I then proceed to drawing random branches that stretch out from the center of our oblong, I mean circle. God dang it. After that, we now begin inking our tree. I usually ink out the outline with the lighter line weight and I ink the branches with a thicker pen. Once that is done, we can now proceed with coloring the tree. And just like our tree elevation, I will begin with the darkest shade of green onto the lightest shade. When you're done coloring, just draw some more squiggly line details and we're done! So the key to drawing trees 
lies in practice guys. Before attempting to do this on your final plate, practice drawing a bunch of trees on some scrap paper and come up with your own color palette for your trees. I cannot emphasize this enough guys, practice, practice, practice. It may seem like I was naturally gifted with the ability to draw, but unlike my naturally good looks, I wasn't that good at drawing to begin with. Did he just say naturally good looks? What the hell? I just practice a lot and I really love drawing. I usually spent all my time drawing when I was a kid because every time I went outside I end up getting sick. Looking back at it, I was actually a very sickly kid. I don't know why. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something new today. If you guys liked this video and found it interesting, please like, share, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you on the next video. Flying peace!